What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt. And I'm back. Phoenix Report 2. It's on the move. We've got a, a lot of games already played and a lot of games to be played through this one. Sporting on the left side of the map in the yellow color, playing as Gaia from the BXX clan. His name is Awas. His partner's today in the blue color, playing as Uranos. His name is Marcos. And down on the bottom of the map in the purple color, playing as Gaboos. Thought No. Did it again. Playing as Zeus. His name is Gabu. Together they are the PXX clan. Their opponents today in the light blue color playing as Ra. His name is I Fear Goddy. His partners today in the green color playing as Poseidon. His name is Punkstar. And rounding out the team in the red color playing as Zeus. His name is Swiss Boy. This is UCA's B team. UCA B. Yes. Yes. Uh, UCA is one of the bigger clans in Asian mythology. There's actually quite a few really, really good players on UCA. In fact, if I recall back to Phoenix Reborn 2, no, sorry, Phoenix, Phoenix Reborn 1, the first Phoenix Reborn, I vaguely recall UCA A being obviously ridiculously strong with like all of the, the best players on that team. But then UCA B had like some surprising talent on it. Like, some really good players. Not to say that UCAB doesn't have those players now, but I think they were graduated. They were um, they were pushed up into that UCA A team now, uh, which is very, very exciting to see. So UCA in this tournament is going to be a team, a clan to really look out for. Uh, I expect big things from them here in this one, but we'll see how things are going to go. PXX as well here. Let's give a little bit of a rundown about what PXX is, what type of a clan it is. They are a clan that plays together basically daily. They are a really well-oiled machine in terms of coordination, in terms of strategy, and in terms of understanding what their partners can do and can't do. So they play to their strengths really, really well. Uh, in fact, they also are able to take um, games off the really, really strong teams without having those top tier 1v1 players on uh, on PXX. I mean, there are some, not to take anything away from Gabu, Marcos, and AWAS, they're all really strong 1v1 players in their own right. Uh, but what I mean is like having like a top a top 10 uh, 1v1 player on a, on a clan seems to be a, a fairly common occurrence for the uh, the top the top three or four teams so i'm excited to see how this game is going to go this is a really really interesting one bxx and ucab here going to be uh, a very very tight contest you'd, you'd have to assume but we'll see what's going to happen we do see the ra here for i fear god he unfortunately gets a uh he doesn't get the pocket here basically he's on a flank and he's on a flank against Zeus from Gabu. Gabu is known for his Loki, and unfortunately for PXX, with having a... Well, actually, to be honest, with having... They've actually got a couple of, quote-unquote, mono-god players on PXX uh, on PXX's clan. You've got Gabu playing Loki, Marcos playing Aranos. Um, I'm not sure if Owas is a guy I main as well, but... Uh, with this uh, with this tournament came a rule, which is you're allowed to ban uh, gods out. And I think that people are going to be under uh, underestimating Gabu's ability to play a god not named Loki in team games quite well. Uh, so he is going with Zeus in this one, so it's interesting to see that. Banning out Gabu's Loki here is most likely what happened. But we'll see how things are going to go as the players are starting to advance. We see Hermes. A lot of Hermes in this game are coming through, as well as Prometheus. Um, one day I'm going to watch an Aranus play go Oceanus, and I'm going to get very, very excited about it. Um, someone is going to go Oceanus in this tournament with Aranus, I'm sure. Anyways, uh, we'll see how it's going to go. Generally speaking, these Alfheim games, they're a little bit awkward to play because there's not a lot of food. There's not a lot to fight over. Uh, this specific spawn does have a decent amount of food in the middle of the map. And we do see Awas over here. He hasn't even started advancing. He's going for a fast second town center and a forward fast second town center to boot. This is dangerous. This is a dangerous town center to grab because if any of UCA catches him out, he's going to get pushed off this one very, very quickly going to be having to rely on his teammates Gabu and Marcos to defend on this position. So we do see a cheeky Gaia Forest getting dropped down here to defend. 
That's the Promethean offspring. Going to be moving across the map looking for a cheeky little uh, fight here to push Swiss Boy a little bit back. Haven't seen Swiss Boy playing in a hot minute here. I wonder how in shape he is uh, in this one. There's one villager there almost going down. Swiss Boy trying to micro it as he's running that one around. Does manage to keep that villager alive here for a hot second. In fact, he's managed to keep it alive completely. Some miss micro from Marcos. Not able to snipe that one down. The Prometheans get picked off. Great play there from Punk. Start coming in to support that one. And Swiss Boy now going to be retreating back home. That's the town center just about to come up. And we do indeed see Awas going through Oceanus. It's not a, it's not Oranos, but it is, it is Oceanus. Anyways, uh, Swiss Boy spots the town center going up. Going to be too little too late for uh, for Punk Star to get over there and help. As Marcos's heroes, his hero uh, Terma and Mamillo coming through to take the the, uh, the Apollita out. And Punk Star going to be pulling back into a. Uh, into this Swiss boy base. Swiss boy go for two town centers. He's also gone two town centers into center. This is a very, very greedy opening from Swiss boy. And I can speak from experience when I say Oranos has got the advantage against this strategy. Uh, maybe in team games, it might be a little bit easier, but generally speaking, Oranos is going to be getting a lot of damage done here against a two town center center idea as Punkstar, great defense there from that raid. Beautifully sends the one villager over to the town tower, the other villagers over to the, the town center there. Great defense for that. So good raid still coming through here as Punkstar's wood situation here. Probably not the best wood line there to be grabbing. Might have been better to be on a back wood line there instead of the forward one in a team game. Uh, obviously less... Uh, whoop, whoop, retreat the villager! Doesn't get the villager retreated as Gabu manages to pick another villager off there for the trade of a Jason. Not the best of trades for Gabu where that's concerned, but we do see some Gabu Centaur are out on this position looking for some uh, looking for some fighting as the Centaur is starting for Swiss Boy as well with three villagers on the favor. The two town centers up. The problem obviously for Swiss Boy is in affording Centaur. He needs to have a lot of villagers on food, and he doesn't have a huge amount of food income. So he's having a little bit of a challenge getting those villagers out of his town center for the time being. Uh, do we see the units still continuing to be built here? Marcus has slowed his villager production down. Or not village production, army production down. And he's going to be going for the town center here, grabbing that forward town center here. Wouldn't be surprised to see his third town center getting dropped as well. Uh, oftentimes that fast three town center strategy, very, very standard for... Uh, Uranus players, but in team games, it can get uh, punished, as opposed to in 1v1s. Reason being, Town Center is very, very weak uh, uh, for, for the Atlantis with only 2100, 2100 HP, and some coordination to target down the Town Center boom can be difficult, so sometimes it's better to just go to Town Centers and start bumping units again. <coughs> as we do see, the, uh, the Marcos army Coming through, almost picking a villager off run for the tower. Not going to quite get any of them taken out, but does get some idle time created there. Nice play from Marcos. As the villagers of Punk Star still getting raided onto this position. Playing defensive in a team game, it's challenging. It is very, very challenging. And Marcos with PXX, uh, to the, with PXX Gabu here. Uh, helping out, going to be getting a lot of value with these raids early, plus the town centers are coming down now for PXX, and also, I just had this town center for quite some time, and here's something, here's something that's a bit of an idea here for you. If you're ever playing Gaia in a team game, your late game's not as good as anyone else's. Let's be completely honest, generally speaking. Like, obviously, in Uranus versus Gaia, I prefer to be Gaia in the late game, but um, if you've got a Zeus on your team, tribute that food over to the Zeus player. Give that wood over to the Zeus player. Get that Zeus player to send a villager over here and build these farms for you. Those kind of things really, really help uh, accelerate. Because you see Oas already going Riha, Riha at the moment. Imagine Gabu spending that 800 food, 500 gold on Apollo. Imagine that followed by the Hephaeus this time and coming in at like 12 minutes or something here. While Gabu is also building out all of the military he would normally be building out. Completely different position they'd be in than, than um, Awas going there. But Awas here, what he can do is he can focus on Gotti. He can focus on Gotti taking out the raw cavalry spam and all that good stuff. 
because he's gone for that standard advance time, the standard rush, shenanigans here. Has gotten whatever he wanted. We see some cheeky buildings up in this. How did you get here? This is a dire citizen. How did you get here? What is this? And we see Gotti checking it out now with his villager, but Oas is already on this. He's got the temple. Did he delete the temple in the home base? He deleted the temple in the home base. So he's going to have those, um, those, whatchamacallits, behemoths out of this temple here for free. Gets one. Going to be training more of them. I love that from Oas. We'll see if Gotti is going to be able to recognize what's going on and defend there. As you do see some citizen coming in, cheeky little... Uh, hero citizen there. Nice little uh, nice little cheeky uh, defense against the special attack there. It's a really, really nice um, way to play around that as the heroes coming through defending there. Do we see some more behemoths? Not just yet. As we see a mana coming up on this position to push back. Siege works coming up for Gotti here as the units are starting to come through. And Punkstar also says, you know what? I'm coming over there as well. Let's clean this up before anything starts coming in. The Mermillo are coming through. No counter barracks here. Guess what will be really, really good? Catapelties here for Oasis would be really, really good. Oasis Citizen going to be trying to make a uh, run for it. He does have channels at 3.9 speed. So a pretty speedy Citizen here, but it looks like it will be able to sneak back there. As Gabu is going to be basically letting uh, Oasis Ford base here get taken out. It's going to be getting cleaned up relatively quickly, but it does give... A lot of breathing room here for Kabu to just shoot to Mythic Age. He doesn't need to do anything. He just doesn't need to build units. Just go Heroic Age, go Mythic Age. No problems here. As um, the game mode is ahead. Marcos, three town centers. Kabu, three town centers. Swiss Boy, only two town centers. Getting his armory up. We see a Ford Palace coming up here as Marcos is going to be controlling the entirety of this uh, top portion of the map as well. As Swiss Boy... Tries to push out here, but gets caught out. We also see our hero, Contarius, coming in. Shockwave comes through. Going to be taking down probably most likely both of those. Probably most likely. What is that? Taking down both of those centaurs. In fact, does manage to do so. Hero citizen, uh, hero Contarius are very, very good. As we see a cheeky little shifting sands. Not exactly sure where they went, but Carnivora gets dropped down. Stopping that town center from going up. And Gotti's attempt... To push across the map here has been shut down. Kabu is in a great position. Atlas is coming through here for Awas as well. It's a very, very fast mythic age here. I'll just say it again because I think it's important. Imagine if that was, uh, imagine if that was Gabu in the mythic age right now, rather than Awas. It's a very, very different feeling, isn't it? Tributing resources is strong, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that. Fortified Town Center is coming through for Oas here as well. As that Atlas is on the way. We see the Hippocon coming through for Punkstar. He's going to be looking for some raids as well. But Marcos, Marcos's walls here. It's strange to see an Aranus player getting walls up, but he does manage to get those up. As those hero units are just getting so much value here. Swiss Boy might have to be thinking about a ceasefire soon. As you also see Bite of the Shark coming through here for um, for, for Oas. This technology, there's a, there's a sneaky bit about it that not, I don't think a lot of players know because Oceanus is a bit of a rare god. This technology is really, really good. It's so good. In fact, it might be busted. It might be so busted that uh, maybe Orano's players should start going or Oceanus. It gives your hero Mermillo 150% bonus damage versus myth units. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. As Marcos retreats back. And we're seeing a little bit of a cheeky double here as Punkstar and Swiss Boy going to attempt to get a little bit of damage done over here. And we see the ceasefire coming through for... A Swiss boy as he does manage to get this town set or Punkstar managed to get this town center up. It's a was about to put some pressure on. He's got himself a lot of destroyers here, actually. Apollo coming through here as well for Swiss boy. A little bit late there, but he's still going to be able to get that one up nonetheless. Town center over here coming through for Gotti as well during that ceasefire. I like that play, but Marcos has managed to put the town center down over here. So no sneakiness as a comes through with his own buildings coming through. Uh, 
He's very sneaky with these villagers. So I'm going to be very careful about this PXX clan is those sneaky OAS citizens. Keep your eyes peeled, definitely. As some dryads are starting to come out here. Punkstar steals the Esperus tree. That's funny. That's funny. How many does he have? He's got like... He's got an entire army of Hippocon, just manages to steal this. Gets a couple of those dryads out before uh, pushing in onto this position. He's about to get taken down over here, though, as those destroyers, they're going to get a lot of good damage done. Curse gets dropped down. As Punkstar and Swiss Boy trying to break through this palace and stop that town center from going up to give Swiss Boy a bit of an opportunity. But while that goes on, town center gets taken down. There is another ceasefire available here. Uh, so they could take this town center down, give Swiss Boy this one if he can push through with the villagers. Is there another ceasefire? Yes. That's wild. Look at how much damage a Carnivora does. Look at that. That's a strong unit. As the uh, implode gets dropped down, all the units getting sucked in onto this one here as well. That's a big implode. Do all those cavalry die? They do. My god, is that damage coming in onto Punkstar there. If you lose all the villagers, it loses a ton of villagers. Well, Punkstar, they still have a ceasefire remaining, as we do. That's champion destroyers. That is an incredibly big dire, just not caring about anything in this game. He is going for some funky business. That town center of Swiss boys is not long for this world in the slightest. And Marco's just pushing on the front. Owas is knocking on the back door. We do see the ceasefire getting dropped there by Punkstar. And we are seeing Marco's finishing off this town center there as well. Hephaestus is clicked up for, for Swiss boy. Do you have the resources to get the town center up? Owas has got an economic guild. As if he doesn't know. There's... He's sending the citizen around, but what you can do, what you can do is you can send the citizen in, you can farm this, farm, delete the farm, and then you can put up a, a economic guild directly next to the town center. Uh, but the citizen here is looking like it's a bit idle on this position. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Is he too late? I, th I think, I think, I think Oas is just a little bit too late over here. And the town center is back up for Swiss boy. Where is he going? <sighs> Meanwhile, the destroyers onto this location. Can take out the town center. Where is he going? <gasps> Honestly, Oasis' gameplay in this one has been just funny. He's just like kind of trolling in a way, but not, not really. Like it's troll, but it's kind of strong. But this is good reaction here from I fear Gotti. He finds the champion destroyers. Swinging around onto this position, going after this town center here. The thing is, though, that um, Gabu here can go for an underworld play if he wants to and join up with Marcos to push through here against Punkstar and um, and Swiss Boy and let Oas deal with the Ra. And for the moment here, I think he's well and truly able to do so. Going to be able to take out the town center. Do we see a Petropolis started? No Petropolis. I, I'm not sure if this works, so I'm going to say something that might be silly. But what you can do, I think, is you can passive stance a Petropolis on this position, and it's going to always attack the town center if it goes up. At the very least, the, the Petropolis isn't going to be leaving that spot. So you might be able to like not have to worry about micro by using that passive stance. I need to try it out. But, um, yeah, a little bit of an idea there if... Uh, if you're finding your, your opponent sneaking up town centers in, in, in front of your uh, in front of your face, did you get these walls up? No. Marcos with the Stymphalian bird raids as well, still trying to push through here. But this uh, Poseidon army is starting to look strong. Odysseus on the back, you're going to be able to snipe down those Stymphalian birds as well. Both of them go down. Nice play there. Uh, 
Excuse me, getting a bit of the yawns happening. Um, alright. We're still seeing, uh, we're still seeing Oas just not caring. Chasing destroyers around with chariot arch is a little bit silly, but it is what it is. As the town center coming up for good boot. Still in that 1A from Gotti. Gotti got some catching up to do now, but with the Heliopoli in, the Colossus in for Gaboo as well. He's also got Padromus here. It's very, very difficult. We do see an Underworld in for Swiss Boy. Going up to the back of Marcos' base here, and Punkstar still pushing in against Marcos. Marcos is gonna, doing a good job of defending. Dataran Gate in the main base of, of Swiss Boy here. Has the fortified town center going to go down? Maybe. There's really not that many units. The Myrmidon are doing a lot of damage here. If you used the Lampedi on the Myrmidon, it would have been a, a nice one, but... Will the town center live? I mean, we do have the citizens repairing it up. It's doing a great job where that's concerned. We'll have to wait and see as Alas is back in with his destroyers, taking buildings down left, right, and center. This town center is still down. Plus, there's now a military barracks on it, and now Alas is going to be going in to uh, Contarius at the moment. He's making those medium Contarius, but I'm sure he can get himself some upgrades very, very quickly. That's the destroyers. <laughs> just hero destroyers, because why not? 81% Pierce armor. Town center is not going to be going down, but funny nonetheless. As Gaboo, just about to be full iron as well. He is in such a ridiculously strong position here. As Gaboo going to be rolling forward to take out some of these houses, pushing it onto the towns and the mercenary are trying to be spammed out here by Gotti. He does have the trade route set up. Decent trade route. Could put it in the corner, but obviously he did have those problems earlier. But he should be thinking about fixing that one up. 100 gold trade route. Not bad. But on two town centers here against a fully upgraded uh, machine in this Zeus of Gaboo. As Gaboo's also got himself the, um, the Siege Engineers. So those Heliopolis are doing some serious damage here. Okay. Okay, Oas has got like infinite resources here, it seems. And we do see UCA B tapping out. Nice play here from PXX. Something about Gaia and just allowing Gaia to get away with a far second town center and a forward far second town center to boot. That should never happen. Should never be allowing that to happen. It's a really, really difficult situation to be in. It's very simple to stop those uh, sorts of far second town centers. Uh, Alas just did whatever he wanted in this game uh, and really, really allowed PXX a lot of breathing room with this craziness. Random citizen in this bottom corner was probably peak craziness from uh, from Alas. <laughs> Anyways, well played by uh, PXX. If you guys enjoyed this one, please consider the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.